it might surprise you to hear me saying that positive thinking sucks. But the fact is it does. <laughs> so my absolute passion is inspiring and empowering you to be truly authentic to who you are, to live from that place of soul and heart so you can actually enjoy the life you were here to create. And the biggest mistake I see most people making is their approach to positive thinking. And there are three huge traps that most of us end up falling into that I would like to help you avoid today. Trap number one. So the number one reason why positive thinking sucks, this is the biggest trap that most people fall into. We use it to whitewash our lives. Psychotherapists have a special term for this, it's called the spiritual bypass. And positive thinking is not about pretending that the shit isn't happening. It's about having an open and accepting attitude towards that challenge and then choosing how to respond to it. So most people make this mistake when they start off on positive thinking. They might read books like The Secret or see films that tell them that positive thinking is the way to go. And they simply steamroller over the negative thoughts, rejecting them, pushing them away. As Carl Jung told us, what you resist persists. It's the same with negative thoughts. If you fight that negative thought and try and get rid of it, you've spent so much energy concentrating on it that it's actually gonna grow. Pretending everything okay is not living authentically. It's escapism, it's living in denial, it's running away from your problems. And whilst there are times where turning your back on that stuff is really important, pretending it's not there is never healthy. Pushing it down, suppressing it, rejecting it, will only ever lead to problems further down the line. So if you're using positive thinking to pretend that everything's okay, or if that's what you think it's about, it isn't gonna work for you. The second big trap that people fall into with positive thinking is they give up because they don't get instant results. Now, I hate to break it to you, but if you just think three positive thoughts in a row, and that's all you do, it's not gonna do much to change your life. The fact is, you've spent decades training your mind to think the thoughts it currently thinks. If those thoughts are making you feel bad, one moment of positive thinking is not gonna turn that around, just as going for one jog is not gonna get you competing in an Olympic marathon. It's little and often, four or five times a day, thinking things that are positive, knowing the tools to use to shift those thought habits, it's really easy when you know how. It does take time and actually it takes commitment and it takes persistence. But the rewards are enormous. And the third reason why positive thinking sucks, I see this one so often, as within, so without. To the outside world, somebody might seem really positive and really happy and really smiley, they're the life and soul of the party, they lift everybody's spirits, but inside they're a tortured soul. So that outside projection is one of Mr. or Mrs. Positive, but what's happening inside is full of pain and hurt. You see, your thoughts become things. With our thoughts, we literally create our experience of reality. So if you haven't done the inside work, your outside world is gonna be full of pain. There is no point in being on the outside pretending, projecting this positive attitude if inside it's all hurting. So those are three reasons why positive thinking totally sucks. <laughs> but I've got an ABC to help you turn it around today if that's what you'd like. There are three really simple steps you can use right now to make positive thinking part of your daily life. So the first one, A, accept. Stop fighting your thoughts. Please stop hating them. They're part of you, and at some level you've created them. Can you imagine the sense of rejection that that part of you feels when you reject your thoughts, when you talk to yourself about how awful that thought was? Accept, just be with that thought. That thought makes me feel really ick. And then you move on to step two, letter B, which is breathe. Most of the time when we're thinking a negative thought, it kicks off in the body all of those stress reactions with the stress hormones flowing and your breathing often moves to your upper chest. So you've accepted, you've noticed you're having a thought that makes you feel bad, bring your breathing back down to your belly. Do three deep sighing breaths in through your nose and out with an ah. 
as you really allow your breathing to move back to your belly, this helps you to de-stress. It helps the body to get back into balance. It helps the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems realign. It reduces those stress hormones and it helps you think more clearly so that you can move on to step three, which is the letter C. C stands for choose. In any moment, you have the power to choose which thoughts to feed. Ancient Buddhist teachers say that any thought left to its own devices will pass on through in 60 seconds or less. The reason we spend three solid days feeling miserable about what he or she said to us last week is because we feed the thought. It's the story we tell ourselves about that thought that hurts, not the thought itself. The thought itself is simply a thought, it will pass on through. If you're feeding the painful stories, if you're telling yourself all the things that were wrong that go with that thought, it can last a lifetime. But right now in this moment, if you accept, you breathe, then you can choose. That thought makes me feel really bad. I'm going to accept it, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to let it go. And then you consciously choose a thought that makes you feel good. Think of something you feel grateful for, something you do love about your life. And allow yourself to spend five or six breaths really experiencing that thing that makes you feel good. So there you have it. Three reasons why positive thinking sucks. A very simple three-step action plan you can use today to turn things around. I'd love you to try this out right now. Find a thought that's maybe a two or three out of ten on the scale for you. Let's not start with the biggies when you're practicing with this technique. Try out the ABC, accept, breeze, choose. Then let me know via the comments the shifts you experience. And also, I want to hold you accountable here. How are you going to remember to do this? How could you remind yourself to play with this every day? And then come back to me in a week's time and let me know how things have changed. <laughs>